You work at the school? Yeah. Um, how, how does your, your own work of art, how does that influence your work as a teacher? Um, I think uh, already when I was a student, I actually also was a student at this school, I realized that I uh, found it very interesting to also speak about other people's project. Mm -hmm. And uh, in one way, uh, they could work in very different ways from how I work, but the whole um, how their process worked and how their method worked and how they develop, developed that, that kind of process interests me very much mm. to try to find how, how each student could like, find a logical way to work and a process that suits their themes and their questions. Mm. And uh, by, uh, by teaching and uh, being a tutor to students, I think I learn very much about my own process as well. So it's a little bit, yeah, it's very, it's very, it's a luxury actually. Yeah. To um, deal with other people's <coughs> processes, you learn a, a lot actually. Is so. it possible to describe how that learning works? How you, what you get, and how you bring it into your own work? Is that possible to describe? Yeah, I think maybe sometimes I hear myself say things that I find very like obvious that this is how you should do it, and this is very. And this is something that you, you need to change. And then I realize, okay, uh, this is something that I actually don't practice myself. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So sometimes things become much more clear when you actually look at someone else and get some kind of distance and yeah. yeah. And in a more general way maybe. And then students often surprise me as well and learn me something about, especially when we meet in group in uh, like group critique. Uh, my own views and my own opinions get challenged, kind of. How, how can that be? Well, I, um, yeah, I realized that I'm wrong, <laughs> basically. Yeah? Uh, and I realized that I, I've become, now I worked for a couple of years, and I've become, I think, uh, not insecure, but much more careful with, with my opinions. And saying much more often to the students that you have to be aware of that this comes from me and remember what I do and what I'm interested in and be a little bit suspicious against me actually. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And are they? Uh, I hope so. I mean, I like when the student kind of listen to me, but then surprises me a lot. Yeah. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. I asked you to pick one of your works um, and you chose this one. Why did you choose that one? I think I did that because yeah, I work both in uh, in gallery spaces, and I'm also very interested in the book format. And for this occasion, the book contains so much more than one single image or one single image uh, work from uh, a project. So that's why. I think I have to to explain that. That I think I have to begin with saying that um, in one way I speak about photography, but uh, then. And that's nice to have this limitation, mm -hmm. but then there are so many themes related to photography. So on a very like, um, on one level I speak on photography, but like a little bit be, uh, between the lines, I think depending on who you are, you see a little, little bit of other themes going on and other questions being discussed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So. Like, for example, the relationship between the photograph and the photographer could be a metaphor for power relations in a, yeah, in a bigger sense. Mm. But is there any one picture in this book that, that means something special to you? Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of contradictory to what I said before about <laughs> this uh, That's good. eye uh, and how that person changes sex and age and so on. Yeah. But there's this one image of a lady, mm. uh, it's a found image, and she's sitting down and there's no text. Mm. And for me, she's like kind of like the secret author of the book and maybe that's ah. because even if, yeah, it's hard maybe not for me to identify a bit with her. 
So is she you a little yeah, bit? Yeah, kind of, a little bit. Maybe she's, yeah. She's the Japanese you? Yeah, maybe. But then there's also, to balance it, there, <laughs> there is this guy in the end that could also kind of maybe be the author. So there's also a bit of you in him? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And no texts on yeah, those? No. Why no, is that? Yeah, because it's, yeah, that's exactly because they are kind of. It's well, it's, they remind me a little bit of like classical uh, portraits of ah, authors also. Mm, yeah. So I, yeah, so that's why I made that choice to have them like that. Mm. To you? Yeah. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you.